don't think that I am against you when I laugh at crazy things that you say. Welcome to Smarter Than That, where we do experiments to prove and demonstrate scientific concepts. Today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to first show you the demonstration and only then explain it. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it's so cool to see it happen that it's almost like magic. But it's not magic. It's science. Or is it? Maybe you'd be able to guess better if I told you that just before I put the comb next to the water, I brushed my hair with it. See? The plastic comb collects electrons from my hair into it, and my hair needs to be dry to be able to do that. That means that the individual hairs will become positively charged because they will let go of electrons to the comb and the comb will become negatively charged because it will collect electrons. That's why with static electricity your hair kind of frizzes up. So the comb is negatively charged and the water is neutral. It has both positive and negative charges kind of running around randomly. When I put the comb next to the water stream, the negative charges are repelled by the negative charge of the comb and they move kind of away and they leave behind them the positive charge. And positive is attracted to negative. The water molecules that are closer to the comb are now positive. And since they are attracted to the negative charge of the comb, the water stream bends. Now this experiment doesn't work very well when it's humid outside, or for that matter, in my bathtub. And the reason is that water conducts electricity very well, or relatively well, it's not the best conductor, but it gathers up again the electrons and it's making my comb, well, uncharged. It's removing the electrons that it did collect from my hair back into the air, to the humidity in the air. So if you're doing that experiment, make sure you're not doing it in a very humid place. Mm, don't take a shower before you do that experiment. So to summarize, what do you need for this experiment? You need a plastic comb, you need a very very thin flow of water, about a millimeter thick, you need dry hair, and a dry environment. And have fun with this one. This video was a demonstration, but you can make it into an experiment. Try to see how close you can put the comb next to the water flow. Try to see how long you can keep it up. Experiment for yourself and test these ideas. This is the entire point of doing science. And here's a bit of news. I just added a new chat feature to my website. So if you're impatient and you want to talk to me, if I'm online, please log on to our chat feature. It's right on the website. It's smarterthanthat.com. And you'll join me and the people of scienceforums.net. You can ask whatever you want. If you have more questions, you can join the people of scienceforms.net. They're very good, usually. Don't tell them I did that. Uh, and post a thread or ask a questions in the forum. They're really helpful and they're really good guys. And with that said, catch you later. Don't think that I am against you when I laugh.